Welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Blackstars team. Yes, today I'm going to talk about transfer updates. Yes, I'll talk about one Ghanaian goalkeeper who is at West Ham United. But right now he has moved from West Ham to join a new club. But he's not joining now. When is he joining? I'll talk about the details in this one. Some are even saying that this goalkeeper is not going to represent Ghana. Well, I'll talk into details everything that you need to know on this particular goalkeeper. He has always been working with Kudus at West Ham. By now, he has moved from there and I will talk about the details. In this update, we also look at one midfielder. Yes, he is also joining a new club. We will talk about him in this update. Then one youngster, he's a striker. Right now, some EPO clubs are chasing him. We will talk about him in this update as well, together with my own um, school that I attended. Yes, today I'm going to talk about my school because my school is making Ghana proud. Right now, my school has represented Ghana and then they've won a bronze for the nation. And I'll talk about them. That is Acrosso Senior High Technical School. Well, we will talk about them, what they are doing and what they are also about to do because they are going to represent Ghana in the world competition. And we'll talk about that together with some few other ones in this one. I'll also try to give some shout out to those who commented under the last video. So anytime you join me, watch the video. After watching, like the video for me. If you are new, subscribe. Put us on post notifications so that I'll drop a latest update. You'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Don't forget to also share the video after watching for others to also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel. This is just a quick one. So let me do the quick transfer update. Then we talk more about some of the other ones in here. Now, let me begin from this player. Yes, um, he played for Fiorentina. Yes, I said he played because right now his contract has run out and he was not able to reach a new agreement with the side that is talking of Alfred Duncan. Very good midfielder, but for him, he has retired playing for Ghana right now. He is no more a Ghanaian international per what he actually put out. And um, now a club in Turkey, that is Tramzospor, they are in talks with the player to reach final agreement for him to move and come and play for them. That is um, the short one that we have to talk about. Alfred Duncan, former midfielder for Fiorentina, he was a fantastic player, you know. But right now, no agreement has been reached and the player, he is moving from Fiorentina to join a new club, Transasport. That is a club that has really gotten near on signing the player. We know that Leicester, Leicester City in the EPL, they showed interest in the player. But right now, nothing concrete happened. Brighton of Albion, former coach Roberto Di Zerbi also showed interest in signing Alfred Duncan. But right now, the coach is not even there again. The coach, I understand, he has now joined a new club. And that is it. That is he going to join Olympic de Marseille in France. So, for him, the only club who is right now getting closer on completing the move is Tramzospor in Turkey. They are about to sign um, Alfred Duncan from um, that is right now he's a free transfer yes so that is how it is going to be and that is it from the Ghanaian midfielder now let me move on and talk about um, this goalkeeper yes Joseph Tete Annan who is he as I said he's a goalkeeper for West Ham United and basically he was their third goalkeeper if you take out one Afonso Aurelia to Fabianski, he was the third goalkeeper. So if you check West Ham United games throughout the last season, you get to know that sometimes he'll make the bench, other times too, he'll be keeping for the under-21s or the under-23s. And now he has signed a three-year contract with St. Patrick, yes, in Ireland. That is where he's going to play. There is not a new club for him. He's been there in the season 2021-2022 as a loan um, player with them. So after completing the loan spell, the player felt like, well, he still has that kind of connection with the club. So according to him, it wasn't difficult for him at all to move from West Ham United to join the club, St. Patrick's, permanently to be a goalkeeper for them. He says that when he was presented with, um, you know, the club's, ideology how they want to play everything he thought it is a good one for him to return and now he's returning to st patrick's this time around it is going to be a permanent move for him so the piece of good news is he's going to develop more you know in as much as many many of us would like to see him in the epl it, de it just looks like he's not going to be the number one for them so it is good for him to move on to join st patrick's in ireland and for him to also go there and compete so joseph tete Annan, right now he has been announced as a new goalkeeper for St. Patrick's. And um, after the announcement, um, this is what the player has to say. In fact, the um, deal is two and a half years. Contract two and a half years. Sorry for that. Because the club has actually published it. So I have to update a two and a half year contract. And this is what the goalkeeper has to say after he completed the move to join them in the Irish League. I'm excited. It's very good to be um, to be back. 
I played my best football here on loan and really enjoyed it. Steven and the club told me about their plans for me and um, the style of play. I felt I would fit into that. I really bought into the Gaffer's plans. The Pats um, fans showed me a lot of love when I came to the club two years ago. So with that um, factored into my decision. Um, coming back was a no-brainer, really. That is what he has to say on that front. He also continued to say a whole lot of stuff and um, some of the things that he's looking for to achieve with the club. And that is it also on goalkeeper, Joseph Tete Anna. Now, mo many people are talking about his nationality. Well, for now, he's a Ghanaian. He's also an English, so he's from England as well. Because he moved from Ghana to join uh, to England at a very young age. He moved in 2017. After playing for Dambut in Ghana here, he moved to join War All Stars for a short um, stint. Then he went for trials at West Ham United. He passed the trials. Then the West Ham United signed him as a youngster. When he went there, he has represented England under 20 level one time. He has played for them England under 21. So, yes, right now he's basically an English and also a Ghanaian in all those aspects. But the player is open to play for Ghana. He said it, um, but not that openly. If he's ready, if Ghana gives him opportunity, he will come and keep. For me, I feel set goalkeepers, we need to be trying them in the other national teams, not only the black stars. You get it, yes. But I think moving to St. Patrick's right now, it is going to help him to develop more and for us to see or to get the best out of him. He was born on June 8, 2000. So for now, he's tw um, 24 years of age. And um, yes, he was born in Teshi in Accra here. His height is 1.9, which is a good one. Nationality is England and Ghana. And um, his, his favorite foot is the right foot. And um, player agent is Philip Mba. Yes, and um, some few other things. And that is it. Now, before he will join or he'll be able to join, that is St. Patrick's. He has to wait for July 1st. July 1st, that is when his contract will entirely expire for the player to move on. And one thing that they are also waiting for now, um, his contract, or before he can join, he needs clearance. He needs clearance from um, you know, that is talking of West Ham United. So on July 1, that is when the goalkeeper will get the clearance for him to move on and go and join them in the Irish League. And that is the update according to the club St. Patrick's Athletics FC. And I'm also sharing with you on this channel. So we have to wish Joseph Tete Annan all the best because he's a very good goalkeeper. And pe personally, I want to see him do well. And possibly one day come and keep for the Black Stars team. And that is it also in there. Now, let me finish off the transfer news here. Then I go to my um, you know, school and talk about it a little bit. Yes. Um, there is one striker who has shot up in Norway. Yes. Um, his name is Edmond Beidou. Right now, clubs in the EPL are chasing for his signature. Brighton and Hove Albion, together with Leeds United, they are all pursuing the Ghanaian forward. And that is it also for the player. Um, um, he has actually made, made a lot of waves in um, Norway, as I said, since he joined them. And he now plays for Sundar Football. Sundar Football. And since he joined them, the 18-year-old sensation has racked up um, 9 goals and 7 assists in the first half of the season and catching the attention of many clubs in Europe. These are the two clubs leading. That is talking of Brighton of Albion and Leeds United. Not only these clubs. If you go to Scotland, we also have Celtic. Yes, they are chasing for him. Then we can also talk about Club Bruch from Belgium. They are all chasing for the 18-year-old striker, Edmond Beidou. Yes, I'll be following him and bringing a lot of updates on this striker. He's a youngster and doing so well, scoring some 9 goals and giving some 7 assists. Tells you that, yes, this boy is doing well for Sunder football in Norway. And I'll continue to... To follow him and bring you a lot of updates on this channel. Now, let me talk about my alma mater. Yes, I need to talk about them across the senior high technical school. Um, it is in the eastern region, and um, you know, they represented Ghana in the just ended um tag of war competition, which happened in Zimbabwe. And the team went there and won Ghana a medal, yes, a bronze medal, beautiful one for the nation, and that is a great feat for them to achieve. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
In fact, um, Ghana Olympic Committee posted this on their social media platforms. Across the Senior High Technical School wins bronze for Ghana at African Tag of War Championship. Across the Senior High Technical School represented Ghana in African Tag of War Championship. Um, Ghana won the bronze medal at the just ended 10th African Tag of War Championship in Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls. The Ghana Tag of War team represented by Across the Senior High Technical School in the eastern region, the team is expected to be um, at the Kotoka International Airport on Monday, 4 a.m. That is um, the yes, last two days, and the team is now in Ghana. According to Mr. Emmanuel Ola William, the reps of Ghana did very well, and their participation has given Ghana a good record in African tag of war. He called for more competitions by William Sami Hayford. All kind yes he posted this on their platform so yes um they went they saw and they conquered winning a bronze medal for ghana is no joke in fact the team did so well and i would say congratulations going out to the team they did amazingly well in fact they've done us proud as all students of the school we are very excited about this and i've seen um our president mr isaac kwajo or being um he has posted something about um you know what they've achieved and how excited we are as all students of the school. So, yes, to the headmistress, that is Madam um, Belinda Chum. You are doing amazingly well, and congratulations going out to you. Also, to the um, MP of Ascending Mansion across, um, Honorable Kwame Abuaje. Yes, congratulations going out to you. You are also doing amazingly well for the school. I also like to thank all the teachers. The teachers are exciting, and they are also doing well for the school, especially my friends in it. Yes, so I like to talk about um, Mr. Amofa. Eric Amofa, congratulations going out to you. You are doing well. Mr. Hennepin, yes, you are also doing amazingly well for the school. Together with all the teachers, I don't want to mention some. I don't know those who have left and those who are also there at the moment. I'd like to come back and visit the school. Yes, one of these days. I need to go there, congratulate the team, and also do what I'm supposed to do for them because they've made us proud. And that is it. That is what we want to see in this particular school. So, across tech. Congratulations going out to you for making Ghana proud in the just ended um, African Tag of War Championship in Zimbabwe. And that is it also in there. So, guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the um, comment box because some schools have been competing for themselves in Ghana here. But Acrostec decided to compete for the whole Ghana and they've brought Ghana this particular medal and it is amazingly warm. I'm, I even understand that the team will be going to Germany to represent Ghana in the World Tag of War competition. So um, that is an amazing feat for the school to achieve and that is it also for them. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box now. Let me give some few shout outs here before I take leave of you. Shout out going out to Suidu Abdullah. I appreciate you so much for being here. Imma8485, you're also here. Mr. Vody is also on this channel. Um, then let me move on. Akugri Rauf, you're also on this channel. Betty Johnson, thank you for being here. Um, Princess Hart, you're also here. I appreciate you. Adoma Raymond, thank you. Isaac, um, okay. Isaac Namu. Okay, thank you for being here. If I made it your second um, name. Prince Ahiala is also here. Um, Jumon Samson, thank you. Yakin Shata Official is also on this channel. Um, Patrick Asante is here. And then you call Johannes Mauto. I appreciate you. Faiza, you are also on this channel. Benzozi is here. Vosha Serranos is also present. Jason Grant is here. Um, Swansi Ofe Ansan is also on this channel. Samuel Yabua is here. Stefan DK is also here. Eric um, Agbetsiafa, you are also here. Christopher Dambi, you are also here. Um, Derek Amofa, okay. Let me move on a little bit. Amit Jani is here. Inusak Musa. M. Clements, okay. Thank you for being here. Um, then let me move on. Um, Samuel Yabua is also on this channel. Governor Bukwe is here. Muna Isaac Bimbansun is on this channel. Ernest Amethe Fio Collins 585. Ellie Kim Francis at the power 1212. Stephen Kenyon or Stephen Kenyon, I beg your pardon. Barak 365 and Rahman Muniru. So I promise you guys that I'll give you shout outs to all those who commented on the last video as of the time. I'm recording this one around 10 p.m. today, being the um, 25th of June 2024. Don't forget to like the video for me, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later.